Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a detailed roadmap for third year students. So if you're in your third year of college, if you have finished your second year and if you're going to start your third year of college, then this is the roadmap that you need. This roadmap will make sure that by end of third year, you are someone who is skilled enough to get an internship or land a pre-internship job, I would say. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and let's see what I have in place for you. is we will be mastering that specific programming language we will be starting with the basics right so basics in the sense we will first go through a course through coursera or udemy and you can make sure it is you just you don't have to take a really big course just like a small four day course or a five day course wherein you can just brush up your basics and then you start practicing problems and you will start making small projects which will make sure that whatever you have learned like in the coding section you are able to implement it in in the biomedical field cool study plan if you want how to do this from here six months first two months you have to enroll on a beginner friendly course this is the first certification course that you have you are going to take because all the roadmap that i have posted in the past roadmap one and roadmap two for first year and second year it basically consists of free youtube resources where you can watch the videos and now we are going to enroll ourselves into a detailed certification course which will be very useful for us sec like third three to four so first two months enroll on a course third and fourth month you have to practice as much questions as you can practice or make as many uh, solve as many biomedical problems as possible using your coding skills that you have acquired over the period of time and then last month five and month six you have to start building projects like data analysis of bio biological signal or stimulating a biomechanical system so these things you can do if you can brush up your coding skills and you can be skilled enough cool so once programming is done you will be getting into computer aided design which is cad so in this again we have to focus on doing a proper course on solidworks or Auto autocad now if you are in college you can use your email id and download the softwares free of cost if you don't know that and then we will be starting with tutorials wherein we will be creating 3d models and you know if you are if you have let's say a prosthetic how to design that prosthetic using uh, cad and then we will be also focusing on practicing with biomedical examples wherein you will be designing specific medical devices prosthetics and things like that as uh, to brush up your skills and to make sure that you add it on the resume study plan for this would be first and second month you have to learn the basics of cad again same uh, principle we are following all the resources i have for first year and second year students is from youtube because at that point of time i don't believe you taking up a proper course will make any sense to you so now third year is when you take a proper certification course so that when you get the certificate you you are actually authentic and you know you know the skills that you have acquired over last two years and then how you have brushed it up over the period of time third month and fourth month again we will be practicing creating simple 3d models of biological components which will take like it, it will not take two months but i would say as many projects as you can do it's good for you and finally fifth and sixth month you will be actually designing prosthetic limbs medical instrument models using cad and that will be added in your resume and you can also create it as your portfolio so programming is done then cad is done so now you are someone who has programming skills and also you are someone who has designing skills cool and then this is the best part wherein you have to be extra skilled compared to other people in the field now this is very important third thing i want you to do is start a project management course 
and first you have to understand the fundamentals of project management which includes a lot of principles the journey uh, like basically project methodologies how you have to make sure that the project uh, is designed or drafted or forecasted in such a way that you know you are assigning specific tasks and things like that focus on practical skills so develop skills in project planning scheduling resource allocation and risk management so whenever a company is starting to uh, launch a product the entire life cycle is there which we call as product life cycle or project management or product management comes into different names but things are pretty much the same so you'll have to understand project what is project planning what is scheduling what is resource allocation what are the risks involved in that project and things like that and finally applying your learning into a practical application wherein you look for research projects opportunities wherein you can do that management uh, like the project management for them let's say if it's uh, if you're doing volunteering for a startup you know which is basically launching a new product so you can maybe reach out to them and like as an intern i would like to apply my project management skills to maybe like draft a a product end to end life cycle for your a product that you're going to launch so you are not actually doing it for the company and they're implementing it it is just that you are doing an internship so that they are also doing it and you are also doing it so pretty much you know uh, making sure that it's going hand in hand things like that and then how to study this or what is the plan to study this first two months you have to enroll on a project management course there is a wonderful course in coursera which is by google which is foundations of project management do that first course that's more than enough uh, do the first two courses that are there and then uh, the first two months will be more than enough to finish that entire certification course if you are able to do that well and good and then read books or articles on the best project management principles engineering projects and things like that if you want a book join our whatsapp community link is in the description just drop the name of the book in the link and we will send you the pdf absolutely free fifth and sixth month you will have to volunteer do uh, you know pro- internships basically or apply your project management skills on an ongoing commitment that you may have which can be your own project the final year project that you are doing with your friends maybe so you can take up the initiative to lead that project and use your project management skills to make sure that you are running on time and you finish your project by the end of the deadline cool so that's how we are focusing to sharpen our skills i told you about programming how to brush up our programming skills then i told you guys about cad how to make sure that we are having projects to fulfill the requirements and also we are going to start a new skill development which is called project management in third year of college then ex-
i have provided here to if you if you want to learn this then once that is done you can always refer to online tutorials you can uh, uh, add, attend a lot of workshops you can go to universities you can ask them to host specific or relevant workshops if your college is not having resources then you can always reach out to me happy to take these sessions for the college and look for volunteer opportunities or you know try doing some projects or you know make some designs which we can which you can add in your resume which will make sure that your profile stands out from others so this is just one example and if you want to talk about the biomedical imaging department in that case uh, what you have to do first you have to understand the physics of medical imaging which is basically taking up a course understanding the imaging techniques various imaging techniques that are used in uh, the imaging technologies like mri scans ct scans and you know what are the physical principles behind those and for the best thing or the best book you can refer for this is the physics of medical imaging by martin kemp available online if you don't have the book drop a message in the group and we'll be happy to send it across to you signal processing once that is done you have to understand how the signal is processed so for that you can always take up a course but i would i would say you don't have to take up a course for this because probably the signal processing topic is covered in your college so when your professor is teaching it make sure that you're paying attention and after that we'll talk about medical imaging techniques so there are different techniques of medical imaging which includes MR, uh, like there are certain working principles there are certain applications of these principles and then you know there are certain limitations of mris ct scans so there will be certain same limitations for ct scans but there will be a lot of advantages for, uh, when you compare it with mri scans right and there are other imaging modalities as well which you can go through and all you have to do is refer to a book which is essentials of medical imaging by martin a i know reading books is really difficult i'm not telling you to sit and study each and every page but just select maybe few of the medical imaging techniques that are common let's say mri scan ct scan cpap bpap so you can maybe go through these scanning uh, mod, uh, modalities and you can learn about, about these and add it in your resume whatever i am telling you guys i want you guys to add it in your resume cool so these are two examples that i had taken but always you can explore other fields as well if you are focusing on specific field and you want a roadmap to master that specific domain you can always reach out to me on whatsapp and i will be happy to help you once that is done we will be making sure that our internship or the profile for our resume is absolutely cracking solid rocking because that is the only thing which will get us internships so first thing we have to focus on adding on our internship uh, resume is that we have to look for early opportunities right so when you are in third year you start talking to your professors you start talking to your contacts and ask them whether relevant internship opportunities are coming and coming up in the next semester or in couple of months then identify those opportunities through the website so let's say if you have to do an internship in the 6th semester you have to start preparing for that in the 5th semester so you understand what all companies you want to apply what all the internship opportunities are what all the skills required to get into that internship and then prepare an application commit to it and learn relevant skills required for this internship i'm not telling you to go through again a course go through like one workshop or two workshop or maybe one hour course or two hour course to just know about that skill and how to implement it and then you have to basically present your current findings in the conferences in the workshops in the poster presentation events and things like that so basically you are looking for opportunity right with your professors ki can you work on this project or something like that you are identifying those opportunities and finding relevant companies which are in this domain making something similar like you are do your project add that skill in your resume and then start looking for opportunities wherein you can at like maybe if you can present your project idea in a workshop that will grab a lot of attention and that eventually can give you a contact through which you can get into an internship sorry for taking a lot of time but i have to be specific then you can always go on to volunteer work which is doing work just for you know helping the society i would say without any financial benefits so for that you have to look for ngos hospitals clinics right so go through ngos hospitals clinics and you know involved into a lot of startup medical startups that are coming and reach out to them and you know just tell them ki i have the skills and i want to work for you for maybe a uh, couple of months so that as an intern and things like that skill based volunteering wherein you can uh, let's say if you are having specific skill set you can go take a workshop on that skill set and help other people to learn that skill that you have acquired over time non technical volunteering wherein you can just uh, you know go 
and interact with the patient you know understand what their uh, problems are and understand what the healthcare system is requiring to solve these problems that the patients are facing and things like that shadow health professionals always you can go reach out to a doctor spend a day with them understand what the problems they are facing and then prepare a a, pro- a solution to that problem as your final year project that's the best way you can find and identify the relevant final year project ideas once that is done and that's exactly when we do summer and winter breaks to target relevant companies wherein we search for internship opportunities on linkedin on fiverr on internshala on upwork on you know any of the platforms where you can find internships and then we are networking with professionals on linkedin we are becoming very active on linkedin when we are at this stage of our college we are connecting with industry professionals we are we are telling them about our ideas we are telling them about the guidance that we need we are seeking for internship opportunities so you know first year second year if you will not prepare then third year all of a sudden if you have to do an internship you cannot get it in today's industry right so be very specific and be very careful about that and then last develop your soft skills improve your communication skills improve your teamwork skills and you know find more problems improve your problem solving skills you have to find any of the courses for this just go to google and type free communication a workshop free teamwork workshop free problem solving workshop every day there are a lot of similar workshops happening all across india so all you have to do is just make sure you're searching it on google attending it up and implementing whatever you are learning in those workshops finally last Oh my god I'm tired. Finally last tip I have for you as a third year like uh, if you are in third year the final tip I would have for you guys is basically network actively attend as many events as possible attend as many workshops as possible attend as many uh, hackathons or ideathons that are happening as possible craft a strong resume add each and everything that you are doing in your college in your resume because by the end of fourth year you should have a crazy as resume which should be at least of four page cool and then prepare for interviews so i am planning to start mock interviews so what i'm planning to do is basically i will be recording the mock interview with you and i will be posting it on uh, youtube so that other people who are interested to know how the mock interviews work or want to prepare for the mock interviews can watch your videos and maybe learn from that so that's it for today i've taken a lot of time i believe this video was helpful if it was helpful drop in a like drop in comment and make sure you are putting all your requirements in the comment section because i am replying to each and every comment that you see or that i see in the comment section so again comment and subscribe to the channel send it to all your biomedical friends who are in this industry planning to study planning to grow or switching or looking for job would be more than happy to help them and uh, that's it signing off it's your biomed bro and i will see you in the next till then stay safe stay home and let's learn and grow together bye bye guys